The idea for this build was the question, can I make a hold person specialist, someone who casts hold person and then gets to beat on them and get free crits on their own? And I think we achieved that goal pretty dang good here. So in order to pull off this build, we're gonna wanna be a kobold. We're gonna be picking up the booming blade cantrip using kobold. As for our stats, we're gonna wanna make sure we get to around 16 strength. That has to be more than 15. We'll probably wanna end at 16 and not go anymore. Past that, we're gonna have wisdom as our primary ability score, and then we're gonna have constitution as our secondary. As for our levels, we're gonna take six into order domain cleric. We're then gonna go five into battle master and then do the rest rest into order domain cleric. So we really want to rush six levels in order domain cleric to get our sixth level feature. Sixth level feature allows us to cast hold person as a bonus action, which means we can still well on them. So as a kobold and as a cleric, our weapon selection is very, very low. We can't use heavy weapons and we can't use martial weapons. Combined with the fact that we want to maximize the amount of damage we're doing with hold person because the crits double our damage die, we want to get as high as damage die as possible. So it's one of the few times where I'd say there's at least one level where great club might be awesome optimal for this build. Now thinking about that, it's like, okay, Great Club isn't a great weapon, but we have an excuse to use it, so I really want to use it. Levels 1 through 5, you should probably be using a shield, but hell no, I'm going to be using a Great Club. I just love the imagery of running around as this little kobold whacking people with a big stick. I find it hilarious, so I'm putting it into my build. So what a turn might look like for us is we're going to run up and we're going to cast whole person on our enemy. Let's say they save. Well, we're then going to use our reaction to cast Silvery Barbs. Now the reason we're doing this is that they're going to have to remake this save, but because we target an ally to give advantage to, it procs our third level feature that allows them to use their reaction to make an attack, now with advantage. And let's say that the enemy now fails their save, when they make that opportunity attack, they also get a free crit on it. If they do succeed again, then at least they have advantage. But there's every chance in the world that they will just fail their original save, in which case we're not giving our allies a buff, we're just going to go ahead and start welling on them ourselves and get our own crits. From this discussion, it's probably easy to tell that our allies matter a lot for this build. Rogues are going to love you because not only are you giving them advantage and extra attacks, you're also giving them crits, which rogues will just absolutely eat up. But there are other marshals that will appreciate this a lot as well. Paladins with smite, rangers with a hunter's mark out there, great weapon masters, they'll all appreciate it. Probably the biggest weakness to this build is the fact that we can only target humanoids with whole person. So in those times where we don't have a humanoid to target, spirit guardians and spiritual weapon, the typical cleric stuff is really what we're going to want to be leaning towards. Now that we've hit sixth level, we've reached cleric's power level. This will really allow us to have a buffer where we're just so strong that we can really start investing in Battlemaster. So this is a good time to switch over. Fighter is going to open up martial weapons to us, which now we can use a shield and a club that we're just, you know, it's a D8 weapon that we're reflavoring as a club. Or we can do a versatile weapon to have a D10, which I'll just flavor as a bigger club. I'm just loving this whole club thing with this guy. The idea is we get a better weapon. Furthermore, Action Surge is really awesome when we're getting crits with every single one of our attacks. So now we bonus action, whole person, begin bam bam in them, and then Action Surge, bam bam again so we our damage output can actually get pretty crazy pretty fast especially once you consider that you can also have spiritual weapon dang clarets are crazy now what battle master does for us is it makes sure that we're landing our attacks we don't want to be missing crits and sometimes even though you're rolling an advantage you're going to be missing so precision attack is really good to make sure we land and in the cases that we do hit we can use our other battle master maneuvers whose damage die is doubled because of the crit so it increases our damage output significantly then of course we want to get to fifth level fighter just for our extra attack to get more out of those crit moments now we're going back into cleric for mainly to to scale our spirit guardians and our spiritual weapon we also get summon celestial which is a great spell but just scaling is best done in cleric from this point onward we also get their divine or blessed strikes which also increase with crits unfortunately this doesn't scale with action surge but it is going to give us that extra d8 on one of our attacks which turns to 2d8 so it's decent not incredible at the end of the day we're going to have great saves great ac we're going to have a tremendous damage output between spiritual guardians spiritual weapon extra attack whole person like it's just a crazy amount of damage output and then on top of that we're giving our allies who are marshals more damage output this character can deliver damage like no one's business now i know that i talked about us starting out on six level but really getting up to six level as a cleric you're just playing a typical cleric we really only are changing our play style once we hit six level but the build is still perfectly viable i'd say the major weakness of this build is that we're going a pretty big dip into fighter and that there's going to be some lull levels that pain is largely reduced by the fact that clerics are just so strong at those levels that we're really really buffering out those pain levels by just being too strong to begin with for our past levels, but there may still be some slumps throughout, but overall they should feel pretty low. Now what I want to ask you guys is how you would do your whole person specialist build. I'm really interested. Let me know in the comments down below. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting some awesome benefits at the same time, consider checking out our Patreon. But with that, my friends, I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.